Everyone keeps asking for my MW3 settings, so here you go. Basically, what I've done is try making the game look really good while also getting a decent boost to my FPS. If you want the most amount of FPS possible, I mean, just lower everything, right? I mean, duh. <laughs> We're going to run through these really quick. So start in here under the quality tab. Make sure that your render resolution is set to 100. Anything lower, the game will look like complete crap. Anything higher, it'll look a little sharper, but you'll lose FPS. Dynamic resolution, we want this turned off. And then upscaling slash sharpening, we want this set to fidelity FX cast and then click show more. And I set the strength to 80. This is adjusting how sharp your game will look. So if you want it more sharp, then make this number higher. If you want it less sharp, and turn it down more. If you don't like the added sharpness that Fidelity FX Cast gives you, then just simply turn this setting off. Then moving down to anti-aliasing, set this to SMAAT2X, click show more, and then change the anti-aliasing quality to low. VRAM scale target I have set to 80, and then variable rate shading, we have this turned off. And then texture resolution I have set to high. I want the game to look good, which is why I have it set to high, but if you see this estimated VRAM usage down here and this little bar is going over max it'll probably be red if it's going over max then you want to lower this texture resolution down one by one until this bar is under the max line so just go to the highest setting to where you can keep this bar under the max line just so you can make the game look as good as possible obviously if you want the max fps just put it on very low texture filter anisotropic we have this set to high depth of field turned off detail quality level set to low particle resolution set to normal and then and I have bullet impacts and persistent effects turned on. I don't think having persistent effects turned on is really necessary. So you could turn this off and it might boost your FPS a little bit. And then shader quality I have set to medium. And then on-demand texture streaming is very important. Make sure that is turned off. If this is turned on, the game will be downloading textures in the background while you're playing the game, which could cause some lag. And you know, we don't, we don't want to lag. Then local texture streaming quality here we have set to normal. Shadow quality set to normal. Shadow usually do affect performance quite a bit so if you're not getting as much fps as you'd like just try lowering this down a little bit and then screen space shadows turned off ambient occlusion turned off screen space reflections turned off static reflection quality turned to low tessellation is turned off terrain memory set to max volumetric quality low deferred physics quality off weather grid volumes off and then water quality is set to default let's move over to the display tab here now for display mode full screen exclusive will give you the least amount of input lag possible although i haven't noticed a huge difference when switching it to full screen borderless so i mean really just play on what you prefer it's not going to make a huge difference but yes you will have the least amount of input lag possible on full screen exclusive now double check that your screen refresh rate is set correctly here if i catch you out there with 144 hertz monitor or something and you're playing on 60 hertz i'm, I'm, I'm gonna be i'm gonna be mad at you because you you're you just that's the no-no why am i like this why why am i so weird um display resolution here Make sure this is set correctly to your display's correct resolution. Aspect ratio, I just have set to automatic. V-Sync, very important. Make sure this turns is turned off because V-Sync being turned on will introduce a lot of input lag and it is just no good. We do not want that. So custom frame rate limit here, I have this set to custom and then I click show more and I put the limit all the way up to 300 because I you know, I really don't need more than 300 FPS and I'm probably not gonna get there anyway. And then I limit the menu custom frame rate limit to 120 so my PC's not, you know, just going overdrive and all crazy and the menu's running hot and stuff. I mean, you could drop this down to 60 if you want, if, uh, you know, 120 is too high, but I just like it to be a little smooth in the menus and then have the out of focus custom frame rate limit set to 60. Scrolling down to display gamma, set this to 2.2. If you're playing on a big TV or whatever, then try 2.4. But I think the most of us playing on PC are playing on a computer monitor. Brightness is very self-explanatory. You just click this and adjust the slider until the one in the middle is barely visible and that one's not visible. So if you can't figure that out, we have more problems than Call of Duty settings. Uh, focus mode here turned off. I have Nvidia Reflex Low Latency turned on and then HDR I have turned off. If you have a really good monitor that supports HDR incredibly well, mostly just OLED monitors, then you, you probably know you should be turning this on. So for the most of us, turn this off. Moving on over to the view tab here. Now, obviously field of view is personal preference. I like to crank it up so I can be more aware of my surroundings. 
although that does kind of make it harder to see people at distances but you know that's okay and if you combine a high field of view with your ads field of view unaffected that is going to make your recoil control a lot easier i feel like most people who play this game know this by now, especially if you watch these videos, I've probably mentioned that like 15 times by now. Weapon field of view and vehicle field of view, I'm just leaving these at default. And then it's very important that you turn your world motion blur and weapon motion blur off. This is just going to introduce blur into your game. And I mean, if your game's blurry, it's gonna be hard to see people. So I'd, why do games even add these settings? I, I guess they wanna be some cinematic, but it looks like crap. And film grain we have turned down to zero. First person camera movement set to least. You want to set this all the way to least so your camera's not going all crazy and shaking when there's grenades and explosions going off. And then, uh, yeah, that's about it here. Or audio. I honestly have no idea what the best audio setting is just to be honest with you guys i'm sure no one actually does everyone's just kind of messing with things right now it's literally a beta second day it's been out i've been playing on pc speaker though it sounds good to me i guess i'm normally just listening to music when i'm playing the game anyway and then i have the master volume just set to 50 percent here and i have the gameplay music turned all the way off and cinematic music turned all the way off and then i lower the dialogue volume a little bit down to 50 and then scrolling down down to the bottom here reduce tonight of sound make sure this is turned on so when you get flashbangs you don't get that annoying ringing sound which is just annoying we don't want that hey guys it's editor websy here which is why you can't see me and i just realized i forgot to show you guys my interface settings so we're gonna go through that really quick um starting with color customization i just have the palette set to default and then i have the color filter set to filter two color filter target set to both and both of these set to 100 all right cool there we go now let's back out of that we'll go to hud bounce here i like to squeeze all of the hud bounds in so all the important information is closer to the center of my screen so I can see that easier in my peripheral vision. And then scrolling down even further, I have my crosshairs set to static. This is very nice to have. So your crosshairs aren't bobbing all over the place. And then I have my telemetry here set to custom and then show more. And this is where you can turn all that stuff that goes up here in the top left-hand corner of your screen if you didn't know that. So if you want to see your FPS, that's how you turn it on there. Wow, impressive stuff. Very cool. And then uh, I think that's about it here. I have skip introduction movie turned on and I'll get you right back to other websy. And then for all my mouse and keyboard lovers out there, I'm sure some of you guys are wondering what my settings are. So I'm playing on 3.5 sensitivity at 800 DPI. And then I have my ADS sensitivity multiplier set to 0.85. And then scrolling down here, I have my ADS sensitivity type set to relative. I'm just playing on mostly default settings here with the coefficient set to 1.33. I know some people like to set this to 1.78 or to zero. So, I mean, you could experiment with those numbers and see if it feels better to you. Then here is is all of my keybinds. So I'll just scroll through all of these really quick if you just want to pause the video and check them out. And then going over to the gameplay settings. And again, I'll just scroll through all of these settings for you guys here that I am currently using. Now, these are more than likely going to be changed throughout the weekend as I keep experimenting with the game. If you're looking for NVIDIA control panel settings and all the Windows settings, all that crazy stuff, I'll put a video up on screen here or in the description somewhere there will be a video with my last Warzone settings video where I go through all of that because nothing's changed there. So really no reason to go over it again. But if this did help you out, like the video, really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Here's the web. Peace.